Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Katie and I make weekly finance and lifestyle videos. And today I am showing you the 10 things I no longer buy. So these types of videos are my absolute favorite. I filmed a very similar one about the things that I only own one of. So make sure you check out that video. I've really tried to get into frugal living and minimalism, but specifically trying not to buy things that I do not need. So I want to share with you guys everything that I stopped buying. So the first thing is nail polish. So I used to love nail polish and then I realized I basically bought the same shade of pink in 10 different tones. I am definitely not someone that really loves wearing bright nail polish. It's just personal preference. I love it on other people. For me, I don't like it as much. So I basically just bought a bunch of different nudes in different shades. So nine times out of 10, I actually don't even wear nail polish. So that's something I stopped buying because when I do buy it, I basically am buying the same color and I'm not wearing it very often. The next thing I no longer buy is excessive makeup. So I used to be a VIB Rouge member. If you don't know what that is, it's a level at Sephora, which means you spend $1,000 at Sephora in a calendar year. I used to have that status actually for several years in a row. And yeah, I won't get into that. But I realized just from my makeup routine, watching myself on these videos, I literally wear the same four eyeshadows and the same one or two lip gloss lipsticks. And I'm someone that actually loves makeup, but I love buying it and then I don't really wear it. It just sits in my room and I have all these different shades, but I don't wear any of it. So I no longer buy makeup that I know I'm not gonna use. So the next thing that I no longer buy is expensive home decor. So I used to shop at like Crate and Barrel, Wayfair, some of these more expensive home decor stores where I could buy something that was like $70 that has no purpose except looking nice. There's so many great affordable home stores like Marshalls, Ross, Target, TJ Maxx, Winners. You can find almost the exact same products for like 70% less. So I no longer buy expensive home decor items because I'm not getting any use out of them. They are there just to look pretty and I don't need to spend a lot of money on things for it to just look pretty. The next thing I no longer buy is cheap decor just for the sake of decorating. So I love the holidays, I love Christmas, I love Easter, I love Halloween, I love Thanksgiving, and I love the idea of like changing up my household to be whatever the season or the holiday is. But what happens with me is I ended up buying kind of things that I didn't really like and they were kind of cheap quality just because it was December and Christmas time. Oh my gosh, look at my home around the holidays, it's so decorated but it was cheap quality I didn't even like many of the pieces so I kind of just stopped doing that if I do buy you know home decorations for certain holidays it's because I actually like them and I'm gonna use them years after years no more buying cheap things just for the sake of decorating the next thing I no longer buy is cable television so remember how you used to have like Rogers boxes if you live in Canada it'd be like a Rogers box and you would pay for all these channels and I remember being a kid and watching the game show channel so I'm not a big TV person if you've watched some of my videos you know I love survivor but that's about it like I don't really watch TV so I no longer pay for TV we definitely pay for Netflix and my husband loves HBO so we pay for that but we stopped paying for TV the next thing I no longer buy is newspapers and magazines or any like physical paper source that you kind of just read within 20 minutes and then throw it out when i was probably in my early 20s i liked magazines and i just don't really understand why i no longer buy newspapers or magazines unless they are free um, i used to love buying them before going on an airplane but now you can just download it or go online and find the same things on the website so no longer buying that the next thing i no longer buy is physical media so cds are those even can you even get a cd anymore i'm not sure dvds or books anything that is like a physical piece of media that you need to buy versus downloading online and this is like a caveat because I still do like buying books occasionally now with the growth of libraries and free shares where you can just kind of swap your used books with other people it's really easy to get books for free but I no longer buy physical media that's just going to sit in my house after I read or watch it once and take up space with talking about taking up space the next thing I don't buy is souvenirs that are just gonna sit in a box. 
So I just loved souvenirs growing up. Like I remember traveling with my parents and I was like, can we get a mug? Can we get like a keychain? Can I get a t-shirt? I don't know, it was just something about being a child and going somewhere new. But I really tried to stop buying souvenirs that just basically go in your junk drawer. So it's amazing when you go to travel new places and you want to buy something that serves as a memory. But try, if you are interested in doing that, get things that you will actually use. So what my husband and I do is if we do get souvenirs from countries it's things like mugs really got into buying decor pieces so we got some really beautiful art from Colombia that we hang in our house we got art from Egypt we have little coasters from some of our travels so it's actually items that you will be using rather than kind of sitting in a junk box so if you're somebody that likes to buy magnets that's perfectly fine but make sure they're on display and you're getting some use out of them but I'm no longer buying things that just sit in a drawer the next thing I no longer buy is foods that I will not eat <laughs> So this is me to a T. I always try to buy food for like a person that I think I am and then I end up throwing it out or putting it in the compost and it's such a waste. But really one of the things you should stop doing is buying food that you know you're not going to eat. I buy so many bags of spinach and then I just end up composting it because it goes to waste because I just think I'm like a spinach person. I am not a spinach person. I'm also not like a big meat person so sometimes I buy a lot of meat and then like if my husband's not here, it just goes bad. So definitely buy for the the person that you are and what you actually like to eat. And the last thing I no longer buy is pop. So, or soda for my American friends. I had a serious diet coke addiction when I was in university that I've since nipped in the butt through um, sparkling water. But I no longer buy pop. Number one, it is actually quite expensive. And number two, it's really bad for you. Even if you buy diet pop, you're just drinking chemicals. So I no longer buy that. I do get like a pop every once in a while. Like if we go to a burger place, I don't know, something about the sodas and pops taste different from like an actual machine we no longer buy coke or any other pop in the house and honestly it's probably saved our teeth and our wallet but that is everything that I no longer buy I hope you guys enjoyed this video please leave me a comment and let me know what you no longer buy so I can get more ideas if you want to see more videos about things you no longer buy or things that you only need one or two of let me know in the comments below and if you enjoy this video please don't forget to like and subscribe I make videos every Every single week and I would love if you guys subscribed if you're not already thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time bye guys